hello guys how you are doing my name is ken selectochku and in today's video we are going to be discussing about the 10 commandments of wealth creation or rather we can say the 10 principles of wealth creation that's exactly what we are going to be discussing on this video but before we proceed i will urge you guys to please do well to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification so that whenever that i drop a video like this you will be the first person to get the notification thank you now the number one principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing today is know your motivation know your motivation that is the number one principle we are going to be discussing today now motivation for wealth creation varies it varies greatly from person to person and it is very important to identify what drive individual to pursue financial success it is very important for some their motivation may be drive by a desire for financial security or stability while to some people their motivation may be drive by a desire to enhance their lifestyle and some their this their motivation may be drive by a desire to leave a financial legacy for their future generation so motivation for wealth creation varies it varies and it is very important for you to know what motivated you to pursue wealth creation goal so that is the number one principles of wealth creation so the number two principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing today is make your money work harder than you do make your money work harder than you do so making your money work harder than you do is a key principles of wealth creation it simply means putting your money into work so that it will generate more returns for you or more interest for you instead of sitting idle in bank you put your money into work to generate more return for you and the best way you can put make your money work harder than you do is by investing by investing your money you can generate more return so by investing in stock bonds real estate or other assets you can potentially increase your return or profit instead of leaving your money to be sitting idle in a low interest bank so it is important to invest your money to put it to work harder than you do although all investment comes with risk investment also comes with risk so it is very important for you to carry out your research and choose investment that aligns with your risk tolerance and your financial goal it is very important so before you invest your money in order to put it to work harder than you do you need to carry out a research about where you are planning to put your money and you choose investment that aligns with your risk tolerance and the financial goal on my last video where i talk about wealth creation we discuss something about how to achieve your financial goal that is where we discuss about define your financial goal so please if you have not watched that video please kindly do well to watch the video you will definitely understand the key principles of wealth creation very easily so if you have not watched my previous video where i discuss about wealth creation please kindly do where to watch it
Thank you. Now, another way you can put your money into action or make your money work harder than you do is by minimizing expenses and maximizing savings. That is another way you can make your money work harder than you do. Then another way you can also make your money work harder than you do is by diversifying your portfolio. What do I mean by diversifying your portfolio? Diversifying your portfolio simply means spreading your investment in different assets. Investing in different assets. Instead of putting all your investment in one stock, you diversify your portfolio so that you can be able to manage your risk. Because we already said that all investment comes with risk. So the only way you can manage this risk is by diversifying your portfolio. That's one of the ways to manage risk. Now the number three principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing now is Never spend more than you earn. Never spend more than you are earning. Now this may seem common. It may seem common. But it is surprising how many people fail to follow this basic rule. If you want to build a solid financial foundation and a great long term wealth, it is very important you live within your means. It is very important you live within your means if you really want to create a solid financial foundation. By living within your means, you will avoid debt and work towards achieving your long-term financial goal. So you need to be mindful of your spending, create a budget and make savings your priority. When you do all these things, your future will definitely thank you. If you abide by all these rules or these principles, your future will definitely thank you. So that's one of the basic principles of wealth creation. Now the number four principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing now is know how to benefit from the power of compounding know how to benefit from the power of compounding now what is compound compounding is the process of generating earnings from your initial investment and reinvesting those earnings to generate even more earnings over time that is when you are investing, you are investing the profit or your earning from your initial investment. That is compounding. And the compounding lies in the fact that it allows you to generate interest from your interest. You make profit from your profit. That is the power of compounding. So the primary benefit of compounding is that it allows you to achieve rapid growth in your investment. So you need to know how to benefit from this power of compounding. That is one of the principles of wealth creation. Now the fifth principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing is give your investment a sufficient time to grow give your investment sufficient time to grow investment is one of the best way to create wealth in a long term investment is one of the best way to create wealth in a long term But one important factor in successful investing is time. Time 
is one of the most important factors in investment. When it comes to investment, giving your investment a sufficient time to grow can make a significant difference in your overall wealth creation. So it is necessary you give your investment a sufficient time to grow. By investing for a long time, you can benefit from the power of compounding. You can choose investment with sustainable growth potential. You can also avoid common investing risk if you are investing for a long time. So it is very necessary to give your investments a sufficient time to grow. Whether you are investing for your children's education or you are investing for your retirement or any other long-term objective or purposes. Giving your investment sufficient time and discipline will definitely pay off. Patience and discipline will definitely pay off. Now, the number six principles of wealth creation, which we are going to be discussing now, is know how to use leverages. Know how to implement leverages. That is the next principles of wealth creation we are going to be discussing. Now, leverages is a powerful financial tool that can help you to multiply your wealth. It can help you to multiply your wealth and create significant return on your investment. Leverages involve using borrowed funds or other financial instruments in order to increase your return on your investment. That is leverages. But leverages also comes with risk. So you need to know how to implement it properly to avoid incurring risk or incurring any expenses or losses. So you need to know how to implement leverages to avoid losses. That's one of the principles of wealth creation. So the number seven principles of wealth creation, which we are going to be discussing now, is never take shortcut to reach your financial goal. Never take shortcut to reach your financial goal. When it comes to wealth creation, it is very important to have a clear plan and a long time goal. When it comes to wealth creation, it's very important to have a clear plan and long time goal. Although many people do fall into the trap of taking shortcuts in order to reach their financial goal quickly. Taking shortcuts might be or seems to be a good idea at the point in time where you are taking the decision. It might seem to be a good idea. But taking shortcuts can also hinder your progress and even lead to financial disaster. Now, I will tell you four good reasons why you should never take shortcuts to reach your financial goal quickly. I will give you four reasons why you should never try to take shortcuts to reach your financial goal. Number one reason is Shortcut can be expensive. Shortcut can be expensive. Number two reason is shortcut can be risky. It can be very risky. Number three is that you can never learn anything from taking shortcuts to reach your financial goal quickly. You can never learn anything. 
And the fourth reason why you should never take shortcut is that shortcut can lead to bad habits of investing. It can lead to bad habits. So these are the four reasons why you should never take shortcut to reach your financial goal quickly. Now, the eight principles of wealth creation is do not compare your financial goal to that of your friend's goal. Do not compare your financial goal or wealth creation goal to other people's goal. When it comes to wealth creation, we might end up comparing our financial goal to that of our friend's goal. And when we start comparing our financial goal to other people's goal, it can limit our ability to achieve our financial goal. So it is not advisable to compare your financial goal to that of your friend's goal. One thing you need to know is that these wealth creation goals are likely to change. They are likely to change. So you need to have a clearly defined goal and make sure that you do not, you do not deviate from your financial targets. So that is one of the reasons why you do not need to compare your financial targets or goals with other people's goals. Now, the number ninth principles of wealth creation, which we're going to be discussing, is create a greater value to generate more wealth. Create a greater value to generate more wealth. Now, creating a greater value is one of the effective way to generate wealth. The foundation of most successful businesses today is the creation of value. By creating something that is valuable to other people, you can increase your income and accumulate more wealth over time. So you need to create something that is valuable to other people in order to create more wealth for yourself or generate more wealth for yourself. That is one of the key principles of wealth creation. The last principles of wealth creation which we are going to be discussing today is never stop learning. That is the tenth principles of wealth creation. Never stop learning. Never stop learning is very important for wealth creation in today's fast growing competitive world. By continually acquiring knowledge and skill, you can adapt to changes in market condition. You can identify new opportunities and build strong personal brand which can help you to create wealth and achieve financial success. So you need to continually educate yourself and acquire more skills. All these skills will definitely help you to be successful in wealth creation. So these are the principles of wealth creation or rather the Ten Commandments of Wealth Creation, which you need to abide in order to be successful in pursuing your Wealth Creation goal.